We're on your side with team coverage bringing you both sides of the debate. Our Anita Blanton is hearing from protesters who don't want to see changes to Virginia's marriage laws. Yeah, Don and Katie Nationwide, there are more than a dozen states just like ours with some type of lawsuit right now challenging the ban on same-sex marriage. And emotions run high on both sides of the issue. Take this morning in Norfolk, for example. While well, you had a couple fighting for the right to marry who they love and be recognized by the law, this was the scene as protesters gathered representing those who think the laws banning same-sex marriage in the Commonwealth are just fine. You see they had signs about history and marriage and law. And one woman that we spoke to in that crowd says there are two main reasons why the attorney general is just wrong in all of this. There's two issues. One is the same sex marriage, and Virginia has already spoken against that. 57% said no way. And the next is we can't have our politicians changing our laws just because at a whim. And when she says that the people have already spoken, what she's referring to is that 2006 voter approved constitutional amendment at the Mark Herring's office now says it will not defend. A lot of people have seen that as a shift in gears after ballots were already cast, a slap in the face, if you will. And we're going to be hearing from some of those today momentarily. I'm here at New Hope Church where several people are going to be speaking in just a few minutes. We'll be inside for that press conference that's getting ready to take Take place, and I'll share with you the view of local clergy coming up in our next half hour. In Norfolk, Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.